Hi guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at a US Navy flight deck helmet. So let me just show you it real quick before I get into the details. Uh, it's a pretty nice piece, but just a little bit of background. Uh, this is the first time I've actually done a helmet on this channel and I think you'll enjoy it. It's a pretty cool piece. So basically um, what this is, this is worn by the flight deck crew. So on an aircraft carrier where you have, you know, military aircraft taking on and off, you need a lot of crew in order to manage them. So you have the flight deck crew, which does various jobs. So there's uh, people who load the weapons, the ordnance. They usually will wear orange. There's people who guide the planes in for takeoff and landing. That's another color. This brown color is the plane captain. So this uh, individual basically oversees the actual um, maintain maintenance and care. And they're basically in control of the plane while it's on the ship itself. So the pilot basically, you know, they kind of rent it <laughs> on the mission, but the plane captain is responsible of taking care of the plane while it's on the aircraft carrier. So pretty cool piece. I did have one of these in orange. And like I mentioned, that's ordnance. There's other colors, I think like green and blue. Um, so yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool uh, piece. Um, so that's what the color is about to identify them. Then obviously we have different, uh, stuff added on here like this 4p with reflective tape velcro right here and then the number 24 appearing throughout not sure exactly what this means it looks like there is a name on here as well um looks like it says rico or something like that um but if you're in the navy and you know a little bit more information please let me know so first things first we're going to take a look at the date tag so we we'll go on the inside here we can see that it says uh, cover cloth helmet, flight deck crewman's impact resistant, size seven and a quarter. Let me see if I can get a little closer. All right, here we are. And we have the contract number, the DLA, 186C4150, name of manufacturer, Greenbrier Industries, Inc., April 1986, and the NSN, NATO stock number. What I find most interesting about this is that they put the date twice. Once you can see it in the DLA, it clearly states it's 1986. And then again, down here, they have the more individual date. So this cloth part is, well, it's called, um, the cloth and the helmet are, you know, basically uh, one piece as far as I'm aware. Um, yeah, so you have the helmet part to protect against presumably, you know, flying objects, you know, these planes land and take off. So they obviously probably kick up a lot of debris and dust. But then the other feature that you'll notice prominently are these headphones. And this is obviously to block out the extremely loud sound of, you know, jet planes taking off and landing. And it's interesting because these can actually be exchanged. You have these three buttons right here. And let me zoom in here. And if you uh, unbutton them, then this has its own DLA because it's its own thing. Aural protection, protector sound, specification mil A, 23899B AS, DLA 488D0081. So these are a little bit older, 1988. So you can see here in the middle. So a few years after the actual helmet. And David Clark Co. So I know David Clark, they make uh, other headphones and headphone products for the US military, which is pretty neat. So basically what you can do is swap these out. They still seem to be pretty well intact though. There's this uh, cushioning material right here. The rest is just made out of plastic. And then, you know, you can just button this up just like that. And yeah, it's a little tricky. Not really, but Anyway, if you look here, you can see that the actual cloth material kind of goes around the headphones, but you could still take it out pretty easily. It doesn't seem to be too hard to take on and off. And then right here, we have basically a Velcro chin strap, and then we just have this one metal loop that it goes underneath, and then you just strap it like that. And if we take more of a look inside the helmet, you can't really see here, but there's some dark black foam material right here. And then this is kind of like 
there's like a little see these like brass buttons they basically buttoned in these straps to keep the liner and the shell together this back piece is really cool i really would like to know see this uh foam stuff is kind of degrading it's kind of getting in my fingernails this back piece is pretty neat you got this like white reflective tape 4p obviously some sort of designation to do with his position and then 24 not exactly sure and it looks like this name was also spray painted on here before it was uh before this backing part was put on and then you have this other front piece let me fix that it's pretty annoying But overall, I mean, it's pretty cool. This is a pretty cool piece because they're really still making them the same today. You know, not much has changed in terms of the basic design principles from the one that I had. The first one that I had, I think it was from 2014. I had it around November of last year and I ended up selling it to a Hollywood prop company based out of Burbank, which is actually really funny. I just think it's pretty cool. I sold it on eBay to them. And they asked for like two-day shipping. It was around Thanksgiving, so luckily it got there on time. But yeah, just a funny little anecdote. More padding up here. This stuff is starting to degrade a little bit, which is unfortunate. And then again, you've got this brass. And let's zoom in here what it says. Something. The pull the dot. Oh, okay. So if you pull this, it seems like uh it would come out and release the cloth liner yeah it's, it's just instructions pull the dot so yeah there you go that's how you uh would undo the inner lining part but yeah so if you're wondering you know where i source this one i did end up getting it from the moss landing antique fair which is annually in moss landing there was a pretty cool military vendor there guy uh vendor i got this for 40 dollars. it's a pretty good deal they usually sell online for, you know, somewhere for $80 to $150, depending on the condition. And uh, if it includes headphones or not, that's another big thing. These are plastic, by the way. And this is this part's like metal. Seems like you can adjust it right there. But that's pretty much all I have to say about this light deck helmet. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.